Well, since you and I have seen each other, there has been a devastating earthquake in Nepal. Yeah. Uh, 7.8 on the Richter scale, millions of people affected. I think the death toll is now approaching 7,200 people. You're seeing there the horribleness of mm. this. And uh, beginning just a week ago, we came to you and told you that we at 100 Huntley Street, through our relief and development efforts, we wanted to make sure that you knew we were engaged and involved. Now, we have taken the days where we've, uh, between, uh, oh, since we talked to you last Monday beginning and now, to find out exactly what's happening more and more. And on the phone with us right now is uh, our Crossroads Relief and uh, Development Director, David Shelley, with, with, with an update. Uh, Tanner, you have the first question there for, yeah, for Dave, Dave. Dave, tell us what's happening right now. Uh, hi, Tanner. Hi, John. Um, I was on the phone last night with one of the church leaders from uh, in Kathmandu who's been, who we're working with and supporting with funds. And he said it's been a, it's been a tough week, um, a lot of search and rescue uh, going on. And now, of course, one week later, what happens in these situations is it starts to become recovery because, you know, people that have been trapped in buildings and things can only survive so long. And, and I said, How's the, how are the people feeling? And he said, you know, the people are scared. Uh, you know, a lot of the buildings, if they are still standing, a lot of them have cracks in them. So people don't want to sleep in them at night. They, they sleep in tents outside. And so food, is, food and, and shelter is still one of the primary important needs that, that they are trying to, to serve people on the ground with. Dave, Tell us what we here at Crossroads can do to help. Well, of course, it's, it's really uh, funds that they need. We want to support the churches on the ground who are rallying, and, and they've already this past week served thousands of meals to people uh, that, that are victims of this earthquake. Mm -hmm. And so when you give a dollar, it, it makes a difference on the ground, and we are, uh, we are supporting these churches so that they can bring hope uh, bring hope to people that, you know, a week ago their lives were pretty normal uh, for them, and now it's been totally disrupted and, and the future is uncertain. So hope is what people need, and so food and shelter is, is the primary needs that we're going to be meeting with the funds that we do raise. Okay, Dave, very, very quickly here, we want people to call us. We'll provide that number and information. We even have it on the screen now. Am I correct that the Canadian government is going to be matching organizations like ours that raise money for this specifically? Yes, uh, Canadian government's got uh, a Nepal earthquake relief fund set up where they will be matching the funds in that Canadian government initiative. So yes, one to one, every dollar you donate, a personal donation will be matched. All right, Dave, we're gonna hear from you later this week, more updates and we're going to get more information. Uh, this is a long haul effort by Crossroads Relief and Development, but if you've been with us, you know how we operate. We want to make sure that we're working with pastors and churches on the ground to help them through some very, very difficult times. You can call us with your, your generous gift to the Nepal relief effort at 1-800-265-3100, or you can make a secure online donation for this effort at 100huntley.com.